Terry Zavos, and last week I came to speak to you about a G GWP electrical rate increase in its formative stages, and to indicate a rate increase that GWP has indicated is necessary if critical capital improvements are not to be deferred. Uh, I made the case that under Article 13C of the California Constitution, any such rate change would have to be put to a vote of the people. Let me review that case. Article 13C mandates, and now I read from the Constitution, no local government may impose, extend, or increase any special tax unless and until that tax is submitted to the electorate and approved by a two-thirds vote. And it goes on to define a special tax as any tax imposed for specific purposes. Now, granted, an electrical tax or an electrical fee is imposed for the specific purpose of providing the ratepayers with electricity. The question is, is it a tax within the meaning of Article 13C? And Article 13C defines tax broadly enough to include an electrical charge. And again, I read from the California Constitution, Article 13C. Tax means any levy, charge, or extraction of any kind imposed by local government except the following. It goes on to list seven exceptions. Only exception two could conceivably apply to electric rates. And let me read that to you. A charge imposed for a specific governmental service or product provided directly to the payor. So far, so good. That would seem to fit an electrical rate. But it goes on and makes two requirements. Let me read again. A charge imposed for a specific governmental service or product provided directly to the payor that one is not provided to those not charged and two, which does not exceed the reasonable costs to the local government of providing the service or product. Electrical rates can't meet any of those two requirements. We know that GWP, free of charge, provides all the electrical power for the city's street and traffic lights, a general fund obligation which makes those that electricity available to the public at large. It can't meet the second requirement because we know that annually the city transfers approximately $21 million of electrical fees to the general fund where they do absolutely nothing and contribute in no way to providing electricity. That sum, which comes close to paying for all of those needed critical improvements, if retained by GWP, would obviate the need for any tax or any rate increase. Now, having made a serious case for a vote on any change in electrical rates, I indicated the hope that the council would, would request of the city attorney a formal legal opinion on the issue. I received no response. So tonight, I publicly asked the council to request of the city attorney such a formal legal opinion, and I asked them to make it available to the public in plenty of time for the public to be able to adequately study it before you entertain such an increase. Now, I make this request uh, publicly, and I believe that the public has every right to hear from the council as to whether or not they will make that request of the city attorney.